Uh, my name is Varshini Prakash. I am the executive director and one of the co-founders of Sunrise Movement. And the Sunrise Movement team to have like come out of nowhere uh, with the with the uh, incoming class and like people suddenly. Like, what has it been like having this movement grow, at least in the media attention? I mean, yeah. I'm sure you know, the media attention go from. A barely a blip to everyone knows sure. what the Green New Deal is. Everyone well, we launched, we launched in 2017 with eight members, all under the age of 26. And we have positively exploded. We now have over 200 chapters across America of Sunrise members in Alaska, in uh, Massachusetts, to Maine, to California, to Michigan, to Pennsylvania. We have thousands and thousands of people who are taking action every day to pressure Congress members to pass and support a Green New Deal. This is a revolution that has been in the making for decades. We have seen how our politicians have failed to take action on climate and have failed to see um, that this is an existential threat, that it is life or death for our generation. And now we are sitting in and we are standing up and we are saying that enough is enough. We need action. So now, it, I believe it was, I think something like 687 times that Fox News, or maybe even just Tucker Carlson mentioned AOC's name and talking about the Green New Deal and talking about these things. Yeah, they're a little be, obsessed. They seem to be really scared. Does that yeah. give you some hope? <laughs> it does. They are really, really scared. And they are fighting tooth and nail. You see it on Fox News. You see the Koch brothers who made their money, their billions of dollars in oil and gas. You see the fossil fuel industry fighting back harder than ever. And it just goes to show that our mobilizing and our organizing is working. And we have to keep at it. Because right now, they are fighting super hard. And and we need to be there right with them, fighting back with a bold and positive economic vision for America. Because that, that's a big thing, is that they focus so much on the fact that this is a, a trillion dollars or more or whatever it's going to cost. Um, and it's a lot like uh, universal health care. They talk about it in the same way, the expenses. Um, does it show, does it seem to show that there's like a one-sided look at how economic value works in this country? Yeah, I mean, look, they called the Affordable Care Act uh, a socialism as well. And so it just goes to show that right now um, there is a party that has made mention of the climate crisis that shows that it's serious in some way of doing something about the climate crisis. And there's another one that's been completely bought out by oil and gas executives that has kowtowed to industry and that has uh, simply allowed its party to embrace climate denialism. And so right now we are really at a tipping point and we need these politicians to step up because it's going to be our generation that bears the brunt. Now, there's a lot of people that seem to be trying to fit old, old against young, yet as we saw on the stage tonight, yeah. we have, there's, because there's Nancy Pelosi who's questionable, you know, there's a drink of water, I guess, that could be Ocasio-Cortez in her district, and then there's Ed Markey, I, I assume vaguely in the same age, yeah. <laughs> stage group, not too soon. Um, and, but it seems that there's at least a, a group of people up in Washington that understand that yeah. young people are, I don't know what, here for their jobs or what, what's the scare yeah. that's going to happen? I mean, I think we've seen throughout history that young people have always been at the vanguard of social movements, whether it's the civil rights movement, the fight against HIV and AIDS, uh, immigrant justice fights, climate, gun control, whatever you see, you see young people stepping up and, and speaking out. Um, but at the same time, this is an intergenerational fight. Ed Markey said it himself. We are seeing that in our country, a vast majority of Americans support government action on climate change. They know that the te technology to stop climate change is here and ready to go. We know that the science is completely sound and all that lacks right now is the political will. So I think we've seen younger politicians really step up to the plate in calling uh, with the moral conviction that's necessary right now, the solutions at the scale of the crisis. But I really think this is a fight for all. All generations. Great, thank you so much.